Today's reading from Charlie's letters is letter 49, and it's a continuation of uh, yesterday where I talked about hinds feet. Hinds feet, Habakkuk 319. The Lord God is my strength, and he has made my feet like hinds feet, and makes me walk on high, my high places. Psalms 1833. He makes my feet like hinds feet, and sets me upon my high places. As I began to write these letters, it astonished me how many of them started in my life in the first few years of knowing Christ. He has taken those early teaching points and allowed me to share them so that I could have a better understanding of what he was teaching me. Philemon, Philemon verse 6. Habakkuk's statement in 319 that the Lord is his strength is where we all need to start. Then, in the rest of the verse, he doesn't speak about what God will do, but about what God has already done. And he has made my feet like hind's feet, and makes me walk on my high places. A hind can be an, any, an animal of many different species that God has given, given a special gift. They live in high, precarious areas where getting a good foothold is essential to their existence. Having hind's feet allows them to find solid ground with their front feet, and their back feet go precisely to that spot. God tells Habakkuk that he has given him hind's feet, and I believe he has given them to us. He is our hind's feet, and because he lives in us, we can walk in his steps so that the last verse, last half of the verse can be ours, and he makes me walk on my high places. Am I walking in his steps, or am I only trusting him when all else has failed? The Lord is my strength. And that's letter 49.